Hi Scorpio, getting ready to do your reading. Let's see what is going on for you. Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. All right, overall energy manifests. It says, tell the universe exactly what you want. A water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. They'll be back. Some of you are manifesting a water sign. Or you're the water sign manifesting someone. But again, manifest, tell the universe what you want is your first message out. Okay, that just flew right out. Cycles and changes with the moon. Playfulness. Oh, good. Cooperation. Dolphins. Okay, I have a couple more. You're also going to, some some surprises unfolding could also be a message because the envelope card and it says endings and beginnings. So you have a major ending here and a new beginning that looks like it's going to be more fun, more playful. Some, some surprise. Okay, what is going on for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus? Some of you are dealing with a person named Jeff, or that's your name. Could also be like Jefferson, Jeffrey. What is going on for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus? Okay, so maybe you are going to be receiving some sort of... At, if you work in an office, they're going to be asking you to do a different job or take on more responsibility, but they're going to pay more. And it's not a, it's something that you wanted to do anyways, it's kind of getting... Like you're going to kind of go into a, um, a new field, but it kind of goes along with what you do already. So it's kind of a good fit, but you'll be learning some new skills that could benefit you down the way anyways. So, but I get it's like, it's going to, you're going to be happy. So a little, a little extra work, a little extra money is what I'm kind of getting. Maybe because someone else in the office wants to quit or they're, they don't want to show up as much. They want to cut back on their hours. So if you could take over, then it would benefit you, it would benefit them, or something like that as well. What's going on with Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus? Okay. Ooh, Seven of Swords right off the bat. The Sun, the Ace of Wands, Judgment, and the Page of Coins. Okay. Some of the similar cards is Libra, but not, not really. Five of Swords under the deck. It's interesting. Could be an Earth sign communicating with you or a Leo. Overall energy is the Seven of Swords. I'm going to do one more. Be a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Somebody's missing you, but they probably don't want you to know that. That could be why the playfulness is unfolding here. Someone who's been thinking about you a lot with the Seven of Swords. I like the Seven of Swords for Scorpio reading because it's if it's not you being Seven of Swords, it's someone else, but usually you can see this type of energy. I'm not getting as deceptive. It could just be again, they are hiding um, their feelings or they got their cards close to their chest for you. They may feel like they can outsmart you, but I just don't feel like, I don't know. Underneath the deck is the Five of Swords. Yeah, it's kind of like a player who you know they're a player, but yet this player has feelings for you. It's like you already have their number, like you already know what they're about. So we'll see. What's the sun energy? Because this is in their energy, how they're feeling. Person's excited. Okay, I'm going to say this person is excited as shit because... Something about you being in their life, coming back into their life, something about the two of you reconnecting, having a good time, having fun. I can see why the playfulness is unfolding. This person's laying here kind of doing nothing, thinking about you. Then all of a sudden they sit up in bed. Then all of a sudden they're jumping out of bed with the full energy. This is someone who, exactly, I'm getting like, this person can't play it cool when they're around you because they get excited when they're around you. They're happy. And I don't mean like a sexual thing. I just mean like they're happy to be around you. I mean, they're probably attracted to you as well, but I'm getting like they, because um, in this deck, you know, he's he kind of got that leaning, leaning in his chair look, kind of like, and you're just like, oh, stop. This person thinks about you a lot. They think about all the fun things you guys could be doing or maybe you guys used to do together. You'd be doing again. This could be almost like a friend vibe. This could be a platonic situation. I mean, it's probably not, but it could be. What is this Ace of Wands? So how they view you. Oh, Eight of Swords is in reverse. I love it. Breaking free from something. That's interesting. Breaking out of a rut, breaking out of being stuck, stagnation is over. I mean, I always read reversals, but you guys know I usually keep them upright. So when it pops out like reverse like that, you know, that spirit definitely saying, no, oh, this one needs to be in reverse. You guys are breaking out of stagnation. If you guys didn't have um, a, a decision, like you didn't know what to do next, you will. This could be, I'm getting, I'm getting this person's picky, or it could be you. Scorpios are usually picky. So maybe you've been really picky about who you're dating, who you're going out with. And also now you see this in front of you, so you're going to go for it. This could be going into a full-blown relationship. It could be a Taurus. But the feeling I'm getting off of this, I guess because of the playful card that came out, is like this is just something that's going to be a lot of fun. I mean, could it go into a relationship? Absolutely. But I feel like you're not too worried about it. 
you're kind of like, well, let's just see where this goes. I feel like the ball is kind of in your court, Scorpio. You're kind of in the driver's seat. You can take this wherever you want it to go. I feel like you may not have mad feelings for this person yet, but they may have, you know, feelings for you already. Something like that is what I'm picking up on them. Uh, what is this judgment energy in the hidden? This person watches you, spies on you, thinks about you, dreams about you, acts like they don't care, but they do. This person could be really plugged in because it's almost like this person has a devil and an angel on both shoulders. Because if you look, it's like the red on this side and the blue on this side. So they could have like the little, you know, but look what's under the deck, two of cups. So it's kind of like this person thinks like, I don't really love Scorpio. Oh yes, I love Scorpio. They know they love you. I think it's more of them trying to play it cool, but they really can't when they're around you. I think this person, again, gets kind of excited to be around you. They, they, they try to have that guard up to act like, you know, you're not that important or whatever. However, they act around other people, but you are, you are important to them. They do like to be around you. Uh, I get like this person is already thinking about a gift to give you something kind of big, maybe going on vacation. When I tap into this energy, um, I can tell that they're thinking about buying some things or doing some things with you, Scorpio, or making some future plans with you already. But that's what the playfulness is coming up. Okay. What is this page of coin? What is this page of coin? It's kind of cute because before I even clarify it, it kind of feels like this person gets a little bit nervous in your energy or around you. They kind of revert backwards. Um, it's so funny because this person wants to be like cool as a cucumber around you, around other people. Maybe normally they are. They have other options. But with you, it's just like you make them weak in the knees. You know, it's one of those type of energies. What is a page of coin? And it's like they can't help themselves. It's like they don't want to be nervous. They don't want to shake, but you just make them feel that way. Page of coin, the moon, the hanged man, yep, in the world. This is, okay, so this moon is right here, right? Cycles changing the moon card. Seeing something differently. This is a brand new beginning. This is going to be fun. I think this is going to be a good beginning for you. Look at, as I split the deck, the ace of cups and the ten of cups. Something can go some, someplace long term. They could be the Pisces. Maybe for some of you, this is a Pisces. One more for the world. Knight of Wands. Okay, whoops. King of Coins. Page of Wands. Uh, I was going to say, this person could be uh, obviously an Earth sign or a Fire sign, but the, pa the Knight of Wands can be a flirtatious, fun, on-the-go energy. King of Coins, obviously Earth, but they could be kind of like they want something long-term with you. It's kind of like they want to get married. But they're trying to come across like they don't. But actually, you know what? As I say it, I think they can, this feels like the energy of that person who wanted to lock you down before. Like they could be a fire sign, but they want to put a ring on it and they want to lock you down this time or something like that. I got the Knight of Cups under here as well. So <laughs> I yeah, um, this person may have a lot of money. It could be a Capricorn or something, but. The feeling I'm getting is that you aren't ready to be locked down r right now. You kind of want to have some fun. You want to make sure like, you know, this is the right person for you. You want to date for a little while. Um, you want to see if they're going to put their, you know, money where their mouth is, that type of thing. Uh, I feel like they will. Fighting over long term, ten of coins. See, some of you have already um, made money. Like some of you are now independent. You are on your own you're strong now it's hard to maybe go back into a connection and have to compromise so you're kind of like well what's in it for me how's this gonna go you're you're picky it's kind of what i'm getting here there's a realization here so listen to your intuition know what you, know what you can handle the divine feminine so this usually tells me that you're overwhelmed you got too much on your plate so it may be pay attention to your dreams I've been having a lot of dreams with animals in them. I won't go into them, like this variety of different weird dreams myself. In fact, I should write them down. But um, so pay attention to your dreams because you guys are overwhelmed or you may need to have some boundaries. Let me do one more. No, I'm thinking it's celebration. I think it's something good, fives. So celebration is a five. So I kind of like, you know, I'm getting like, don't play too hard to get Scorpio because you already got this person. And if you are overwhelmed and need assistance, need some help, need to have fun, ha need a little extra, you know, cash or, you know, take it. This person adores you and loves you. Um, 
you know, I mean, I don't need to give you a speech. Like, oh, be honest, be upfront. You guys already know that. But I feel like this person, I mean, th this is spirit telling you, you need to, you need to take a break. Because it says, know your limits. You're about ready to pop. It's like Mrs. Pep from SpongeBob. Okay, what is going on here for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus? Needing direction. So some of you feel a little lost right now. So give this person a chance. They're important in your life here. I do feel like you, I mean, you obviously know this person. Uh, they've been kind of missing you. You guys are meant to have fun together. Group think. Okay, number 40 coming together. It says mindful group think. Uh, some sort of revelation, some sort of knowing, some aha moment is coming in for you as well. And preparation comes to fruition, an opportunity. Choices and their consequences is under the deck. Because on one hand, the whole reading is telling me, like, you need to have fun. You need to be lighthearted. But at the same time, know what you're doing. Know that this person is coming in. Kind of like know what they want long term, what you're thinking about. So I think I feel like this is a major turning point for you, Scorpio. There is a major like consequences to your choices right now. Who you're going to end up with, you know, or what path you want to take. What is going on for Scorpio? Because you could have two people here for some of you, like an ex. Maybe some of you are waiting for a specific person, and there's someone else coming in that's gonna like take up your time, but you don't want to like use them, obviously, if you don't have intentions, you know, of something long term, and they want long term, so. All right, but well, you have coffee cups. So meeting and talking, savoring the moment, feeling ele elevated and building a friendship. This is this person right here. You also have sadness, bitter bitterness, someone missing you, thinking about you, uncertain future with the separation card, engagement ring, wanting to get engaged to you. See, someone wants commitment with you like fast is what I'm getting here too. This may be a shock, a sudden change, some sudden shocking news, a surprise, an epiphany, a transformation. Hear the, hear, I don't know if you can hear them. Oh, they went away, you guys. The um, sirens. So, and ship, moving on. Cutting ties, moving on. Receiving what you need. Progression and arrival. And the phoenix rising. The chasers under the deck. Without getting too complicated, I do feel like you're going to have someone like an ex who may chase you some of you may get engaged very quickly to th this person because i can tell they want to get engaged with you i don't know what you want some of you may decide to cut ties with a past person to go with this one i mean it's, I, I don't want to make it all confusing but i can kind of see what it's what's going on here there's someone who wants to lock you down that that reading that person has been coming through your readings for a while now scorpio and maybe they're going to finally show up it may not be who you're expecting I do kind of feel like there could be two people for some of you anyways. Like there may be someone who's coming back from the past that you do not want to pursue and somebody new that you do want to pursue. But it's almost like also like there's karma here involved. Who is the right person for you? What's the right choice? Um, and all that. But Spirit's telling me that you're overwhelmed. You need a break. You need some help. You need, you know... You're doing too much on your own. I feel like you've been through a lot of karmic lessons and you've gotten very strong and you're resilient, but I kind of feel like it's almost like Scorpio may need to let go of the reins and let someone take over for a little while. What does Scorpio also need to know? Positive work outcomes. Consistent efforts will bring in rewards and there'll be a major purchase worth making. So some of you may be working towards a new home, a new car, a new, you know, um, anything else? I'm sorry, so also, also I thought my mic wasn't on. Okay, what else for Scorpio? Watch for the signs. Your future positive direction will reveal itself. Any doubts and confusions will disappear. Yeah. You're at the ending of a major cycle change here. You may be seeing like five, five, fives a lot or, you know, seeing a lot of different animals crossing your paths, having dreams, a lot of uh, things like that. What else for Scorpio? Nothing else, thank you. And property. So yeah, property purchase or sale may be for many, but heed security concerns in any transaction. Well, you shouldn't anything you do when it comes to buying a home or property or selling one, but um, look at the fine print is always what I 
Look at the numbers. Look at the fine print. So I'm going to leave it there. Scorpio, have a great week, you guys.